Pietro? Yeah. They took him? Yeah. The brigands took him. Yeah. Where'd they go? Well, we don't. That's that's the problem. Then no one knows because he disappeared. Oh, <laughs> is there a commercial now? What's going on? We'll be back after this break with what happened to Pietro. The show, I've seen it, of course, and I actually had wanted to do it for a while. I had been asking people about it, like people that work with me, you know, can I, I want to do, <laughs> who do you think you are? I lost my father when I was young, and so that, to me, was probably a big factor in my um, desire for awareness and desire for knowledge about the lineage from which I come. And so I have this for you. The Amalgamated Journal. They found this bulletin in which my great-grandfather, P.J. McArdle, he was essentially a union leader, and my great-grandfather wrote this phrase, May it live long and prosper will what? <laughs> That's so, insane. 1899. The fact that 115 years later or something, I would get cast as a character who was known for that very phrase. There was something about it that felt bigger than me. You know, there was something about it that felt kind of cosmic. And it was just such a wonderful connection. What were those first four years of his presidency like? Conditions get worse and worse. He's up against J.P. Morgan of U.S. Steel, the biggest corporation in the world. Wow. Right? And he's calling a strike. So the stakes are very high here. I think there's a thread of integrity in the men in my family. And what I learned about my maternal great-grandfather was that there was this commitment to making people's lives better in the ways that they could. And that was really moving to me. I felt really grateful that I come from that heritage. Ah. Buongiorno. Hello. I think my favorite thing about Italy was we went to the village um, where my family comes from. It's called Lenola. It's this beautiful, picturesque, mountaintop town. I was told that I was meeting the surveyor of the town, and it turns out that the surveyor of the town is my cousin, Gianfranco. We're related! Yes. Yeah, see. Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> it was really special. It was really, really moving. I went into this with a real awareness that I think in some ways we are disconnected from our past. I think we live in a culture that emphasizes immediacy. We don't always take time to consider on whose shoulders that is built and the sacrifices that had to be made in order for us to enjoy what we enjoy today. So I think it really connected me to that and cultivated in me a, a deeper appreciation for the things that sometimes we can take for granted.